a froze rose is delicious. You know, I always want to know like what gets you guys amped up or like excited. Like, you know, there's certain things that get people excited. What gets me excited is modding the shit out of my cars. It's so funny. I swear, like something could happen, and I just say fuck it. I pull up the computer and just want to start ordering car parts. Like I just go crazy, crazy. Like everything starts turning in my mind so fast. And I don't know if you guys are the same way, but that's just like how my mind works. Like someone says something or an event comes up or someone wants to race or call me out or think they're faster or whatever the case may be, even though I don't even have a fast car right now, but that shit just gets me amped and excited. It makes me want to do shit to my car. And I love that feeling. And I've never been so patient with a vehicle. I don't think I've owned, I think like 25 vehicles at this point, a few motorcycles. I don't think, which is not that crazy, there's way more people out there that have had way more vehicles than I have in a shorter amount of time. Anyways, I don't think I've been as patient as I've been with this Mustang. I mean, if you guys have not been following the channel, I bought this Mustang back in like, I think the end of January, early February, somewhere back then. And my whole goal was, I want to get a turbo kit done by summertime. That's my goal. I want to get a turbo kit done by summertime. Then I'll work on the fuel system. Then we'll start getting tires, wheels, suspension, start lightening the car up, and it'll just be a progress. And who the fuck is calling me? You know, when I see numbers that I don't know, I don't typically answer them, but something told me I should answer that phone call, and I'm glad I did because something really cool happening. That's gonna take a few weeks for that to come about, but that was really cool. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm super patient with this car, which is crazy because usually if something holds me back that has to do with the car, I kind of get tired of it, get to a point and sell it. I actually had one of our friends, Branson, was interested in buying my car and I thought about it for like a day or two and I just couldn't do it. Plus Joseph would kill me because he put so much work into this car himself. But anyways, the turbo will actually be here tomorrow for the car and we'll be finally taking this turbo off and getting rid of it. Obviously. Bob won it on the live chat, and he's actually selling it anyways, but knowing Bob Burroughs personally gives me a couple days to like take the turbo off because I can't move the car once the turbo's off, so I needed to have the turbo on to drive it to Joseph's so we could swap turbos and then figure out what's actually gonna fit because the newer turbo, it is a Barg Warner, and Barg Warners are a lot larger. Even if the turbo was the exact same size, just the housings themselves are a lot larger. So we've got to figure out how we're going to make that fit. We're going to have to adjust some of the piping. So it's not going to be just slap the new turbo on and everything's all good. That's just not how it's going to work out. But I've been super patient with this build and I was just really excited to get it going. And we have a lot of events coming up and there's already been events that I've missed, but I'm sticking with the car. I still really like it. Obviously, Things are never going to go as planned and that's just part of it, but it just gets me excited every time I hear about like an event or something or someone thinks they're faster or wants to call my car out even though it's not even fast at all right now. I'm just like, fuck it, let's order more parts, but I'm trying to be patient with it and just kind of slowly progress with the channel. You know, like I think with my Hellcat, sometimes I got a little carried away and I was doing stuff I wasn't even filming and like I was just so excited to get racing, get racing, get racing and I want to really film this process and do it as best as possible. But with that being said, I've talked about this on a previous video and I've kind of, I don't know, I've taken it out of videos. I've done cold starts on the Mustang and as you guys know, these 2018, 2019 Mustangs, they have an engine tick. Ford says it's not, Ford says it's normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Some people have had their motors replaced. Some people have ran eights on these motors. So whether you like it or don't like it or you think Ford is wrong for it, I do think it's an annoying noise I'm sure it's detrimental. People have, before you comment, because I already know there's a few people that are gonna comment because this happens on every video about this stuff. Before you even comment, I know this is probably detrimental to your engine and I know your engine probably blew. Mine hasn't yet. There's lots of people that haven't had any problems. If there is a problem that occurs from this engine tick, it is what it is. It is what it is. I've modded the car. It doesn't have a warranty. It doesn't bother me. It is totally fine. Before you comment, because I know there's a few people that just like to comment these huge, huge paragraphs about the engine tick and how it ruined their car and fuck Mustangs and whatever, dude, get over it. But I guarantee you I have the loudest engine tick because the reason why is right there. 
that exhaust out the hood just amplifies it. I remember the first time we started the car, I wanted to uh, restart the car after it warmed up because when this thing is cold, with that exhaust coming out of the hood, it is so obnoxiously loud, but it really quiets down. So anyways, without further ado, I kinda wanna show you guys that right now. And give me some engine tick in three, two, one, go. So of course, I just recorded like three minutes of me talking in the car and it was totally exposed horribly because my Sony doesn't have a flip up screen so I can't see myself when I'm actually recording to see if it's good or not. So anyways, what I was saying is that when you're sitting inside the car, it's really not that loud. The turbo acts as a muffler. So when you're not getting on it and you're just driving around or it's idling, it's really not that loud inside. It's way quieter than my Hellcat was, but I don't have a back seat in there. I want to do a rear seat delete, so I might make my own, and I think it'd be cool for the channel. That way, if anyone wants to make their own for any car, then you kind of have an idea on like how to start it. I mean, I've never made one before, but they seem really simplistic. Plus, they're really cheap, so I don't know. I'll see what I'll do about that. But anyways, new turbo is coming in tomorrow. It is a little bit bigger. I mean, it's not a lot bigger, but it's definitely bigger than this turbo, and it's a Barg Warner. And Barg Warner's are a lot bigger in size compared to a Precision. Even if they were the same size, you put the turbos next to each other, I mean, there's a big difference. So, we will definitely have to be moving the new turbo forward. So we'll probably have to do some cutting and welding and moving of some pipes. And unfortunately, Joe's gotten out of town and I don't have someone to weld for my car. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we'll get it done before he leaves. So this could be like a two week project, but that's okay. I've been really patient with this car, like I said earlier, but we gotta do a new downpipe. Have to cut the hole in the hood a little bit bigger because it'll be a four inch downpipe, but we probably won't do that until we actually get the turbo mounted and make some hits in it and see if it actually can hold 10 to 12 PSI, which would be awesome uh, because I'm just so excited. We have so many events coming up and I haven't ran my car yet and I really wanna run it. Honestly, I didn't even think it would be running at this time. Like my goal is just to get the turbo kit done by summer and I would work on like the fuel system and shit like that later, but project moved right along. I invested a little more money than I wanted to into the car. Um, kind of going broke, but <laughs> totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. That's the fact of fixing up and modifying vehicles is it's an expensive hobby, but it's really rewarding when things go right. Things are always gonna go wrong and right at certain different times. And if you stay with it, you probably really do love modifying cars. And if you don't, you should probably buy something stock that's pretty quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have the FX Streetcar Showdown coming up. That's a roll race event, which actually, they made a new rule this year. And I was kind of against it, but it makes, you know, it makes sense. They're trying to get streetcars out there. So they said no race gas this year. And of course, this is the one time I put a car on race gas. Really want to do that race this year because last year my Hellcat was ready to do it. And I think it would have done really well. Kevin actually won his class 
that he was in, but I think my Hellcat would have done really well in that class also. I could have been a contender, but I blew my transmission the day before. And what's actually kind of funny, or ironic you could say, is that it was supposed to be like two weekends before that, but the weather was bad, so they rescheduled it. And then on Thursday, we had bad weather again, and they rescheduled it from Saturday to Sunday. And Saturday actually ended up being a really nice day out, so we took all the cars out, and we were cruising, and Rigo was in town, and everyone was driving around, and that's the day I blew my transmission. I blew it the day before the FX Streetcar Showdown. So that's coming up. I want to say it's like June 29th, and then we're doing an event July 27th, which is going to be a flashlight shootout. I want to be ready for that. Plus, I want to be able to take my car out of town and do some events with it and kind of meet some of you guys and travel. And uh, yeah, got a lot of cool ideas for the summer, but we got to get this car done. So the turbo is coming in tomorrow, so that's super exciting. And uh, so we'll be trying to fit that turbo in. And then hopefully, hopefully that will fix the back pressure issues. If not, we got to start searching and probably start modifying the headers, the cross pipe, and just kind of look anywhere that could be causing that issue. Because if it's not the turbo this time, then it's definitely the headers. Um, we might have to switch the headers out. So. I don't know, we'll figure that out as it comes, kind of play it by ear, and uh, that's all we can really do. So, huge shout out to Joe, by the way. Got featured on 1320 today. They made a whole video about his car, which his car definitely deserved it because he entered in two classes, and him and Brady were just running that car through, and they have, man, they just work like clockwork. Those guys really know what they're doing. It's really fun to hang out with them, and like anytime around them, I try and just soak up as much knowledge as I can, and we were over there, at like 12.30 last night. We did the live chat last night. If you guys weren't on there, I deleted the live chat, but you would have got to see a sneak peek at Joe's new setup. So Joe is awesome, man. The dude's always trying to progress. His car is already crazy fast. He's already win like all these events, and he just keeps trying to progress, which is really motivating for someone like me. And him and Brady know a shit ton about cars, and so I try and just soak up as much knowledge as I can. And uh, they're not even coyote guys. So it's cool that they let me hang out with them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys should go check out that video 1320 posted today. Joe's car was the thumbnail, the title was about his car, and the whole video was literally about his car and how he fucking dominated streetcar takeover, except one race. But big things coming for Joe's car. You would have seen it if you were on the live chat last night. You should have tuned in. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video when we get the new turbo for the car. Super excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Vanvy39, and we'll see you guys on the next one.